Hey, it's Midnight Raven here, and today I want to share some crafts with you. So recently I did some Mother's Day crafting boxes. Um, if you haven't seen them, I will link them at the end. So I basically did some paper crafts and I made some really gorgeous boxes. Um, and they were technically for Mother's Day, technically for Valentine's. They were a bit of everything, to be fair. So I'll link them at the end. So from that video, I got that people like to see me do craft stuff. So this is crafting in a way. So recently I bought these two books and I've actually got a third one on the way. And these are the Kaleidoscope Sticker Mosaic. So if you saw my works haul, you'll have seen these books in it. Basically they're sticker mosaics and I'll just quickly show you. I got them for a fiver and at the minute you can still get them in my workshop but you can also get them on Amazon which is where I've just purchased another one. So inside you get a host of pictures. You get the skeleton as I call it of the picture which is pretty cool. This one happens to be a stag or a deer and then you have all these little numbers on them and they correspond to the stickers on the back and the idea is that you stick them in and you make a beautiful picture. And then this one was the second one I got, which was the Natural Wonders. And in the Natural Wonders one, you get everything from mountains and rainbows and um, different streams and stuff. And then the same with this, you get the empty shell of half the picture. And then you get all the stickers in the back, which do correspond with the picture. It's really easy to get the gist of them. I have just ordered another one of these, which is landscapes, so like la famous landmarks like the Golden Gate Bridge and stuff like that. They also do a floral set, and they also do a neon set, which was technically out of stock. So I think there's five or six of these that you can get. So I started to do the animal one first. That was the first one I got, was the uh, wild creatures. Now, um, they do take a little bit of fiddling around with. Some of the stickers are ever so tiny. Um, but the first one I did was this. And this is obviously a hummingbird. Now, this took quite a while. It's very intricate details down here. And obviously, the feathers and everything, which looks pretty cool. The second one we did was the eagle. Now he came out really well. So these are very simple to follow along. Basically, um, you have letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and then um, you just follow the picture to get the sticker. So this is the eagle. His was a bit more intricate as well with the feathers, trying to get them in line. You don't have to be perfect. It is all right to have a little gap. Um, the more you do, obviously, the more you learn. So yeah, they look pretty cool. And then after doing the eagle, we did this gorgeous lion. We'll look at the detail in that. Doesn't that just scream? Or doesn't it roar, lion? Should we say? Absolutely love the colours in this. The intricate bits on this was probably around its nose and its eyes, but that looks super cool. I absolutely love doing that one. I love the whole colour in your face um, appeal. Next, we did this one, which is a pink flamingo, and this one, again, was kind of intricate, mainly on the feet um, and on the head. So this was pretty fun as well, looking good, Mr. Flamingo. Put that back. They are very fiddly. <laughs> I'll just put this back in there. Okay, we'll fix that one in a minute. One of the stickers has come off that one. And then last of all, in the animals that I've done so far, we have the rhino. Look at him. Now this one took me quite a while. Although it's big block 
colours. I just wanted to get him to look right. So that is the Rhino looking really good. So that was all the animals I've done so far. And then we move on to the other book, which is the Natural Wonders. So the first one in the Natural Wonders was this Eskimo Top Mountain, which came out pretty well. We've got the blues and the greys there. It was in this little valley as well. I thought that was kind of pretty. It did, this was actually the first one I done. This is actually the first one um, in this book. And it's pretty cool. I do love the blues and the greys. I think it comes off really well. The second one in this was this one. Again, another kind of mountainy type one. Um, this again was very intricate. As you can see, there are literally loads of pieces there. And the little white lines are meant to be like the gaps in the rocks, which I thought was pretty cool. I really enjoyed doing these. The third one was this, and I believe this is meant to be the Giant's Causeway or something my partner was telling me. Um, he said the colours are a little off compared to what they are in real life, um, but that's what he believes this to be. Um, and this is very intricate. This took me a while. Unfortunately, with the bright light, you can see the numbers through. Um, but you can't when just looking at it like this because of the light on there you can see the numbers but holding it back like this you can't. So it's really intricate. Each of these has really small pieces and it goes right tiny as well. And then the next one I did was this again another snow mountain but you've got like the aurora borealis in the background. It's what this kind of swirliness is meant to be. Uh, which I did as well. Some of that is actually me, some of that is the picture, and then I did the mountain underneath, and then the bottom is printed. Cool. And then the last one I did here, which we believe, we want to say it's Ayers Rock. Um, if you know what Ayers Rock is in America, I believe this is Ayers Rock, is it's called. Again, very intricate. Look at all those tiny little pieces. You start off down here with really dark and then you go right up to this vibrant red um, and very intricate as you can see there's tons of little pieces there and the little white lines again are the cracks in the rocks because no rocks in this one. Um, so, so far we have done five of the landscapes, Ooh, missing one there, five of the landscapes which have come out really well. And then we have done a flamingo, we've done the eagle, a rhino, we've done a lion, and a hummingbird. So, what is next for my um, colouring, um, stickering, however you want to call it. So, the next animals for me um, is, is this beautiful parakeet, we have a stag, we have a beautiful butterfly, we have a fox and a giraffe, they are the next five which will be this row here in the animals and then eventually down the bottom I will be doing a red panda, some fish, an elephant, a tiger and an owl, which looks really cool. And then in this one we have this one here which has got the little boat, I've got to do a snow one here. This one in the middle is really cool, it's like um, so I want to say it's like a little lake but it's got like lava on it. And then we've got this one which looks really cool, it's basically the rocks in the middle and then you've got this kind of Swiss Alps style mountain which will be doing the next five for the next video and then after that we will be doing lava mountain here we'll be doing underwater fish we've got another lake we've got some rainbows and then we've got some kind of weird coloured rock one so they are what's coming up they have already started on two of them but yeah these are really fun so if you like something I wouldn't say they're for kids, 
They are very intricately detailed. Some of the squares are very, very tiny in the stickers. So I would say maybe teenage, sort of 12, 13 to adult. I would say they're more adult ones. Like I said, there's a floral one, there's a neon one, and there's a landscape one. And I'm going to get all three eventually. So far, I've just ordered the landscape one, I believe. But you can get these from the works for £5. Uh, the one I bought online is about fiver as well. And I got that from Amazon. My works only had these two. Um, but they originally are £13. So if you can get to your works and get a couple of these or go on Amazon and just look up the Kaleidoscope sticker mosaics, there is a whole section on there of all these great books. On the back, it just gives you a bit of detail on how to do it. Basically, follow the steps. Tells you that to immerse yourself in this art, geometric, beautiful world. Um, each page contains an incredibly detailed item and peel off the stickers and peel them into place and voila you have a masterpiece so very simple very effective very easy to follow like i said um some of them are more intricate than others some of them have a lot more detail some of them concentrate on uh smaller stickers um so they're a bit more detailed other ones are a lot more easier to follow so if you want to like subscribe to me um, and keep an eye out for my next lot hopefully this has filled that hole that you had on my channel for crafting um it's just an idea of something to do um for a craft idea i do have some easter cards coming this week as well so stay tuned for them it is easter next weekend so i need to get them out so if you want to like subscribe to me and follow my channel i will link the playlist but the haul where I went to get these books originally, if you want to see that. And I will link the Mother's Day boxes on this side as well to show you my other crafting stuff. If you have any ideas of crafts you'd love to see, I can try and do them. These were something that were relatively cheap, affordable and something that I knew. So, um, yeah, more crafts to my channel are coming in dribs and drabs i'm trying to find stuff that i can do that's affordable and to my interest so that i can actually do them but if you have any ideas of stuff you'd like to see you can comment down below as long as they're affordable um and i can possibly do it so yeah please like subscribe big thumbs up and i'll see you soon for another video take care and thanks for watching bye